Hi guys, Rob here with Flax Gaming, and welcome back to my Reassembly series, Season 5, Episode 4, and because this is a direct continuation of yesterday's episode, we meet you in mid-build. We are actually making some modifications to the Uniraptor, so sit back and enjoy. Okay, so I know it's going to be quite a bit heavier, uh, because I replaced a lot of that regular, with some of those regular segments, and uh, yeah, the two different types of segments, with the heavy armor. And it, it is fair amount heavier, so if you look here, so this is mass 10, so this is the lighter, no, this is, yeah, health 400, and this one's health 200. So this is a lighter version, it's mass, mass 10, the heavier version is mass 12, but it's got 400 health, whereas the armor plate is 1,000 health and mass 20. So it's quite a bit heavier, but it is, it's is—it's more than double the health of a regular block. So I think definitely switching to that armor is, is the way to go. Now, I added a bunch of bunch more of the engines too as well. Hopefully that will improve our turn rate. Actually, there's a couple more here I want to add. Uh, I wonder, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I think we'll, yeah, a couple more there and a couple more. I don't know if those will do much good on the center of gravity like that, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot anyway. So that, well, it'll help for acceleration anyway. So yeah, I think with the extra engines on the side there, that should help a little bit. Actually, we could even do, because this is a great position for these engines. Yeah, there we go. So we'll try that. Oh, ah, now we're over. Blast! <laughs> we're over by just just a little bit. So maybe I can remove... Yeah, just remove some of these. And I might have ruined some of the symmetry. I hope I didn't. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will let me know. Because I'm, I'm as crazy about symmetry too. You know, like, a lot of you guys are like, It's not symmetrical! Well, I'm crazy too. I like it symmetrical as well. Um, the, one the one season we did where it wasn't symmetrical drove me crazy. All right, the new and improved Utah Raptor. Now, it should be, it'll take quite a bit longer to build, I think. But, oh, it's already turning better. So even though it's heavier, it's it's turning it's turning really well, actually. Um, it looks kind of cool. It looks, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure if it looks like something. It kind of looks like, see, these don't look like eyes anymore. Now these look like the eyes. So I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Yes, zappy zappy. Let's go zap some stuff. See if we can make some money. Uh, we can, we're definitely gonna have to do a lot of episodes of reassembly. Like we should be building our next ship. <laughs> we can build another mid-class ship, I suppose. Um, but you know, we gotta test and make sure the Utah Raptor is, is working. Oh, definitely turns better. Turned way better. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. Actually, it turns very, very well. Um, having those extra engines just for turning. Uh, we need some armor in the back. <laughs> uh, these guys, yeah. We need some armor in the back. Uh, let's just take a quick look at that. Uh, yeah, so what we have in the back here is we've got our factory. You know, maybe we shouldn't do a factory on this ship. I don't know. Maybe we should just cancel the factory? I don't know. Uh, be right back. Okay, so I added a little bit of rear armor too as well, and some emergency thrusters in case, you know, they, they knock out this, because this is all of our main engines are back here, right? So then we've got a couple emergency thrusters, so maybe we can kind of get out of danger once we've lost our back end here. I don't like this factory thing. I think we need to get rid of it and just make the... I mean, it's going to be strictly a combat ship in the end anyway, but uh, for now... <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, so rebuilding his bum. Put my bum back together. My bum was broken. All right. <laughs> Let's try this again. Uh, yeah, I kind of like having those extra engines back there too, just in case, you know, because if I lose that factory and stuff, I, mean, I haven't been using the factory, but I'm assuming I will. But it really doesn't serve any purpose for the tournament. So, well, it doesn't serve any purpose at all for the tournament. It's actually quite a useless, uh, useless thing. So maybe we should just abandon that idea altogether. It would be nice to build some stuff if necessary, but we could always just throw a factory on if we need to build something, right? Zap, zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. Oh man, that's effective. I really like that. I really, really like that. I like the gosses. The gosses are really good. But uh, yeah, as far as the ship being durable, I don't know. I don't know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh, uh oh, this is this is a bad place for us. We should be going in with buddies, and that's why we have a factory. But uh, no, 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 no. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> no, don't give it to them. Oh, oh, they're eating our. Oh, they totally ate our station too. <laughs> um, it would be nice. You know, we came to this kind of the softer area of space so that we wouldn't be surrounded by super big, terrible people. Or terrible factions, but it looks like, yeah, we came to a place in space where there's a lot of really big, terrible factions. Ah, okay, so. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, we should have kept the older version of the Utah Raptor, but that's okay. I don't mind that we didn't, actually. I, I, I kind of like that. Uh, actually, what we'll do, what we'll do that right now, actually. That's probably a good idea. Oh, what just happened? Oh, we killed, we killed one of the leaders. We destroyed, uh, Oh, cool! We got a thousand for that. That was awesome. Um, let's go sell <laughs> before we forget. There we go. There we go. That should be enough to give us another upgrade. Ah, fifty-five oh nine. And while we're here, let's make a copy of the Utahraptor. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna call this the Utahraptor X One. And save. And we're gonna make a copy of that. Eh, we have two copies of the Archaeopteryx. We don't need that. So let's get rid of that one. There, we've got the earlier version, well, the current version of the Utahraptor, and then we're probably going to modify it. Oh, we're stuck. We are officially stuck. I can't actually move at all. Nope. Can't move. Um, <laughs> really? Come on. Let go. Let go. Okay. Uh, blast. Really? Come on. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's do it this way. Ah, irritating. Okay, back to the Utahraptor. Whoops. <laughs> uh, yes. Thank you. Yay! Oh, look at him build. Wow, that was super fast. All those parts were just lying there. Fantastic. Uh, don't get stuck again. Reverse. Uh, not so good for reversing. I have absolutely no reversing engines at all. Uh, okay, so let's go see. Uh, what do we got? Oh, right. We killed the one faction leader. Fantastic. So we still got another one over here. Uh, yeah. I wish we had... Uh, I should build some friends, but building friends requires money, uh, of which we have none. Uh, and I don't want to waste my money on just building ships right now. We want to increase uh, the size of our limits and stuff. Ah, oh, that rear armor is handy! Those rear, extra rear engines are handy as well. Just get in there. Just long enough to sell our stuff in case we die. And of course, staying close to our station in case we die too, so then our station gets all the goodies. Yeah, that factory just dies so quickly. It's it's almost a waste. And if we're not going to build ships, what's the point of it? You know, so maybe we will rebuild this ship a little bit in a second. Uh, we're, we're toast. We're toast. There's no way. So these guys, they're coming at us with drones too, and we have no point defense against drones. And really, what we should do... Do we have enough money? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's get the Annihilator. Um, that's a good, just a middle-range weapon. Range 1500. Actually, it's a pretty long-range weapon, actually. And it does uh, 100 damage per round. It's better than nothing. I mean, neither... We don't have any, like, plasmas, like, Faction 1 plasmas or anything. <laughs> the the best weapons we have are coming. The Obliterator and the Nuclear Option. The Nuclear Option! I cannot wait. Okay, so let's make a series of upgrades after I kill this guy. Oh no. He's flying away. Okay. Um, or maybe we build a new ship. I, that's not a bad idea. Uh, no, 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 no. We need to, we need, no, no. We are going to get rid of this factory. Yeah. Okay. Be right back. Okay, so, I don't know. 
<laughs> so the goal here was to try and make it a little look a little bit more like an actual, you know, more like a dinosaur and a little less like a bird. But I don't know. I, I, I failed all around. I, I think I was for a while there, I was starting to make an insect again. So I kind of gravitate back towards insects. I don't know if this is going to be better or not. Now, the nice thing about having these legs in behind here is they will kind of protect these direct these these main engines. Uh, they still they're highly susceptible to being shot off like that's 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 it's going to happen. And actually, you know what? I'll be right back. Yeah, here's the thing with reassembly and the thing with me is I get so caught up trying to make something look like something. I forget about being practical and I, I get that. But that's what I love about this game is that, you know, even if you don't end up being entirely practical, at least something will kind of look cool. And I think it looks pretty cool. This is uh, until we get a better name for this ship. This is I know this is just a modification to the Uteraptor, but um, we're evolving into something different here, and I'm not sure what that's going to be, but it's definitely going to be a different iteration of the same ship. So we'll call it the X2 for now. If you guys think of a better name, by all means, let me know. And let's just give this a shot. This is probably a super long episode. Super, super long, but I've been away from reassembly for, uh, you know, I was away for the weekend. So, and uh, I, I've been kind of dying to play because, you know, we have a lot to do, a lot to build for... Ah, and see, we've got those new guns now, which is cool. We're going to have to set the bindings on those. Uh, these uh, these guys, now they're they're kind of schmutzy launcher kind of things, I think. I, they had a, they had some splash damage to them, so I think we'll put those on as... Uh, auto fire or point defense? I think we'll do a point defense for now. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be fine. And I did we we didn't end up at I was gonna add some extra Gauss guns in there, but I didn't do it because uh, because uh, they're so expensive. They're like 450 p to put on a ship. Like that's huge, man. Like absolutely huge. All right, let's give this a shot. Uh, stab it really good for for uh, ramming to this guy. So notice how I've got the the spikes arranged so that. Oh, 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 stabby, stabby, finish him off. Awesome. And we got rid of the factory too as well, because I think that was totally unnecessary. So the Uteraptor version one was the one with the factory, and we're going to keep that design. So if we look here, yeah, so we've got the Uteraptor version one, then we've got the Uteraptor version two, which, well, we'll probably get a different name for that. It is, it is definitely different. It's definitely a modified version. I like this already. It turns really well, and you know that's that's the thing when you're building these ships. You know you sacrifice your looks, the looks for for you know good in engine placement and stuff too. The, so that's the thing. So it looks like we've taken care of those those agents. They they kind of went bye bye. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what? I think I've seen this before. Something like this. What is it? It's whoa. Whatever it is, it's using a lot of lasers. Lasers! Freaking lasers! Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, nothing a Gauss gun can't take care of. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was cool. It was kind of neat. Um, it's dead now. <laughs> um, I'm liking the ship already. Um, those schmutz launchers. Yeah, so this is the one... Th yeah, these are the guns that... Hold on, I want to take a look at these guns uh, briefly. Yeah, so they do have splash damage. Uh, not as much as a Faction 2 schmutz launcher. I think it's a faction two that has the schmutz launchers, but uh, it definitely has splash damage. So it is, it is, uh, <laughs> it's a schmutz launcher. Sweet, very, very cool. So now I'm feeling like we can take care. Oh, look at that. We just came in, we zapped him to death and we leave. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Actually, I'm liking this ship now. I'm, I'm already starting to like this ship. It maneuvers really well too, as well, which is nice. And it's capable of cutting through uh, let's let's test let's do the asteroid test um, except somebody stuck on us every time I go to do something there's somebody stuck on us <laughs> okay well he's gonna have to stay stuck for a second I think if he wasn't attached to us right now we'd probably do be doing better hey let's ram him until he's dead <laughs> uh, we'd have to get a lot of and I uh, put some reversing engines on this not a lot but enough so that you know if we get into trouble we can escape if necessary because that's a lot of times that's what happens is we get uh we get stuck look at that beautiful beautiful so if it wasn't for that little ship stuck on us right now we'd be we'd be pretty good we will call him armor <laughs> so hopefully he's the first thing that gets shot off <laughs> ah come here come here come here 
Zap, 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 zap. <laughs> Ooh, I like the ship. I like the ship. I'm feeling a little bit better armored now. Like, those armor plates, they have a lot of hit points. Ooh, look at that. 1,400. Well done. Oh, we're going to make tons of money now. Um, we can't forget. No, there's another one stuck on us. We can't. He's still stuck on us. Look at him. The little guy, he's stuck on us. Ugh. Makes it a little bit tricky to ram stuff. Um, now we have to remember to sell, but I'm liking the ship. This ship is feeling pretty good, actually. It's it's flying really well. It's got awesome firepower. Really nice firepower. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's feeling really good. Oh, got to remember that we can actually cut through this stuff. We don't actually have to avoid it. We can actually go zap, zap, zap. Except we've got a little blasted ship stuck on us. All right, we can cut our way out. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Why is he just sitting there? It's one of our friendlies. Why is he just sitting there? That's weird. Come on. Wake up. Okay. <laughs> We're probably going to call this an episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, building the Uteraptor, Uteraptor X2. Of course, we're going to need a different name for it. I think uh, this is a very different ship. I even though it uses sort of the same mold, it is still very much a different ship. Um, it is uh, full of firepower, lots of armor. It turns fairly well. And uh, it still has the cutters on it, which is really nice. And actually, they don't take up that much pee, so it's, it's, it's actually kind of worthwhile. Uh... Did we actually kill that guy? Yeah, we must have. I don't know. Oh, agent. Hold on. Agent. Before we go, we have to prove prove its metal by killing this agent. Ha 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 Problem is, we got to aim. Aiming's always hard. I want to just... That guy's still stuck on us. Ah, so irritating. It, it reduces our performance because it affects how quickly we turn, too. Okay. I think it's the same guy. I think we just didn't kill him. Zap. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. And we'll be back with another reassembly probably tomorrow or the next day because we have a lot of work to do, but I'm really enjoying this. All right, take care, guys.